Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today to go over my three tips for introducing purees to your infants around six months of age. The first thing I want to talk about in regards to offering foods to your infant is how we present something in the infant's mouth. When you're working with a puree, you want to offer it straight into the infant's mouth. You're waiting for them to close their lips around and pull the puree off, and you're going to pull straight back. A lot of times what we tend to see is parents pulling up. And the reason why we don't wanna do this is when you're pulling up, you're stopping the lip from activating and pulling the puree off. So what we wanna see is the spoon to go in, the lips to go around to pull it off and the spoon to go straight back. So that is one of the biggest things I talk about with my parents is you're presenting it to the infant, you're waiting for them to open and close their mouth around, they're going to pull and you're gonna go straight backwards. The other helpful tip when you're talking about initially feeding um, your infant solid foods is the three spoon roll. The reason why I love the three spoon roll is it means that the infant can have a spoon in each hand and you still have a spoon in the rotation. So what tends to happen is infant will hold a spoon, you will either present a spoon to their mouth or present one on the table, they'll drop one and pick up the other one and you'll continue that cycle. That helps with the infant feeling independent and involved and able to work on bringing things to their mouth themselves, but also gives you the opportunity to offer some bites to work on the oral motor skill acquisition. The other thing that I tell parents, and this is sometimes one of the hardest things, but what we work on a lot is that it's okay to be messy. It's okay to have foods on the table. It's okay to have foods on their hands and it's okay to have foods on their face. One thing that I tend to see a lot is a lot of wiping of the hands and the mouth when infants are working on different purees. The reason why we wanna be careful with this is if you're wiping their face, after every single bite, that can sometimes be 20 or 30 times that you're wiping their face during a meal. And that can be very uncomfortable and can sometimes cause a tactile or an oral aversion. When we're working on foods, the best thing to do is put the towel to the side until the end and let infant's hands and face get messy. If you have a little bit of difficulty with having purees on your hands, what I recommend is having a towel on your lap, under the ridge of the table that you can wipe your hands as you go. But the more that you can engage with your infants and embrace the mess, the more you're gonna work with all of their different senses for the development of feeding, and the more it will benefit them long-term when we're looking at the exploration of different textures. Hopefully these three tips are helpful in regards to starting purees with your infant. If you have any questions regarding your infant's development or feeding, please feel free to reach out and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks so much.